refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Right. Let's hope we see morning. As you say, you need me. Yes. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come.
away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? How... How do you know my name? Did... Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Everybody's scared. But they tell me... I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me... I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. No. No. I just heard you coming and... I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Yes, it was my mother's house. She's dead now. And Caitlin said we have to move away if we survive. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. I... I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? Father would have if he were here. Oh. All right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should... go back to the Chantry. Good luck. As you say. away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? The Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? 
Or is there something in particular you wanted? My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. It would be better than going to my grave wondering. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing. And I didn't believe him, either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Eventually, they want to seek out the Arl and our lesser. And when they do, you go in and bring my Valena to me. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well... Just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. I've you to thank for that, stranger. Just do what you've promised, and it will have been worthwhile. You mean, why are these creatures attacking the village? Obviously, something wicked corrupts the castle. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. I told Valena she was imagining things, but maybe the Arlesa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. She thought the Arlesa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listened much to a talk about it, though I wish now I had. It doesn't matter anyway. She's lost to me, and I can't do anything about her warnings now. Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. And too proud and headstrong from the sounds of it. I'd never make such accusations, but... Maybe, if she was using foul magic, then maybe she just did at that. Of course not. And who would I tell? And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I'd paid more heed to my girl. Like what? Right, I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. <laughs> 